Hello, I'm Toy Cat and welcome back to another third channel video. This is a little bit of a night ride on a scooter in LA or Santa Monica because you know how American cities be or rather they don't be, I guess. Um, I'm riding on a bird scooter and I'm going to lift up the camera angle because I've learned from my recording test that right now you can just see the ground but just because I think it's a lot of fun for people to see the speed these things can pick up. I think we'll start with that and then we'll work our way down into actual stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna now flip the camera up. I have no idea how much you can see, but I hope it's some amount. And uh, yeah, I'm starting this video on a real, real loud one, it seems. But trust me when I say I have a reason that I'm doing that. And that reason is probably valid. Now today I'm going on, oh God, this is so fast and so bumpy. <laughs> you know, for a country, oh, for a country that is not only the wealthiest in the world, but also the most car dependent in the world. America has, by the way, I think I just ignored some lights. <laughs> it's like it breaks traffic laws again. I'm not trying to, I just can. That's my, that's my legal defense. <laughs> but um, for a country that loves, uh, you know, like uh, roads, loves the car, America has some of the worst roads. <laughs> Maybe it's just LA actually, which is weird. Cause again, this is a wildly wealthy city in a wildly wealthy state in a wildly wealthy country. Um, one of the wealthiest like cities uh, that perhaps exists or has ever existed. Um, also is the one which has serious, like the, the wacky thing I think about when it comes to LA is we live in one of the, you know, this is one of the highest tax areas of the country, but it's also one of the places that has the serious issues with public funding. Like, you know, if roads suck here, and there's a serious homeless problem. Like during this video, without me even noticing it, you will, you will spot a homeless person tent on the sidewalk, you know? Like, uh, you know, that's a failure of policy, one could argue. Some, I don't know what the failure is. You can, you can argue about the solution, but there's a failure ignoring it for so many years, uh, especially during COVID. But there are, you know, like public transport sucks as well. Loads of the things, like loads of the most important services that could be like, you know, like, that you'd expect would be well funded, just aren't. And I find that this, this is a, I guess this is like a mildly political video. I'm sorry about this, but um, I didn't mean to get there. I was just trying to complain about roads, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going now, so I'm, I'm gonna finish. Uh, but this is one of my real like points I have with people. Like if you want the government to do more, if you want the government to do a particular thing, like the government takes in trillions a year already, even the UK, um, we spend a trillion pounds a year. I don't know, I think that's like 1.3 trillion dollars. We're spending a trillion a year. Oh God, it's a roundabout. Oh no, I don't know how to do a roundabout. I'm not, I'm not familiar with this, okay. Also my brake sucks, that's good. That's, that's always great to know. Um, oh, this is the easiest roundabout in the world. It's just an intersection with a circle in the middle. I guess it'd probably be scary when there's more people here. But um, yeah, this, this like, when there's trillions going into an entity and very little coming out, I don't know why people's immediate reaction is like, let's let's put more money in. Maybe that's the solution. Like, shouldn't we instead be looking at what we're already taking and be like, oh God, am I crossing this? I'm crossing this apparently. Oh, I am crossing it. Okay, we're good, we're good. Also, is that car just in the middle of the road? Is that loud? You know, I'm gonna question it. That's that's okay. Um, but, oh, some, some <laughs> I scared someone it sounds like. Um, but one of the things that I feel like really uh, gets to my core is this idea of like uh, all allocation of the world's resources. Like it's the thing I'm always thinking about. Like we need to make the world better. But if you disagree with that, oh, the scooter just back end slid. I don't know if you, I bet you didn't see that on the video, but the back end, I've never had that happen before because I didn't stop at a stop sign. I tried too fast. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop at this one. Look at this. I'm stopping at the stop sign. I am a model citizen and I'm hoping that they stop as well. They are indeed stopping. Oh, I have no idea where I'm heading right now. Christ. See, that's the interesting thing. Like, there's a there's a point where trying to follow laws can be worse than not. And I guess the like the lesson to learn there is that I should totally just um, in the future. I'm gonna follow the guy that's good. Actually, I don't know if that's a good idea, but you know, if, if they've got somewhere to be, so do I. Um, I, I think one of the things that needs to do is make, make the world better. And with the resources we have, you know, we can go, oh God, this is a one way street. Oh God, that person does not know what they're up to apparently. 
Yep. Okay, you know, this is why you don't follow people. You know, in most parts of the world, if you follow the leader, 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 follow the leader, you'll end up in a pretty, you know, you'll at least, you'll, you'll get the feel of it. <laughs> the first person I decide to follow today is uh, going the wrong way down a one-way street, which is never a, never a particularly great thing. And now I'm on the sidewalk, which you could argue is worse. I wouldn't argue it's worse. It's worse for everyone else around me. And I, I try to be a good scooter user. I want to be the type of scooter user that makes you not hate scooters, but I don't know if I always succeed in that. So yeah, I guess I'm going to just uh, take a slight right turn here. But yeah, I think, I think the world needs to be a better place. But we, uh, we can only increase the extraction of resources from it at a certain pace. Um, people say you can't have infinite growth, but like, sure, but you can have, you can have exponential growth in a world. But then the question is, how do we do that? And then how do we make sure that it's going to a fair use? Oh God, cars are coming past me so fast. Oh, I have no idea where I'm even going, honestly. This, I, I thought LA was a grid and I was following a grid for so long. And then I just didn't, I guess. I okay, guess there's, there's a, there's a, I see a bike lane on the road. That means I can go this way. This is a-okay for me, I reckon. Gonna go to the right here, let someone overtake. Oh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to try not to break a single traffic law for the rest of this video. That is my new goal. Um, but yeah, the question is like, you know, we have a certain amount of resources and for the most part that translates into money. How do we use that better? Like a lot of people seem to have this solution of like, oh yeah, there's, if we just treat money as this infinite resource, then it's all good. But it's like, well, it doesn't really work that way, does it? I mean, maybe one day it will. Maybe one day, one day we can get to the point where traditional economics breaks down. As I say, a stop sign. The stop. Okay, that is a hidden stop sign, right? Can we all agree? That's what that is. That's a that's a very hidden stop sign. I'm gonna turn right here. I think you can go right on red. I don't know if a stop sign counts as red. You know, if that counts as breaking a traffic law, then sue me, officer. But I think I believe in a man's right to turn right on red. That is my God-given right as an American transplant living here for another few days. I'm gonna see if I'm recording it. Actually. I am in fact recording. It's, I don't think you can see anything there. Yeah, especially down a road like this. But um, yeah, we have a, a certain amount of money with a certain allocation. How do we make a more efficient allocation? Like, uh, oh. like uh, you know, if you, if you, you know, take money from someone and you use it to make the world better. You can argue that's that's a better outcome for everyone, you know? If it then helps that original person. You know, you take money from someone, use it to make roads better, or to not give someone the crippling feeling that all of society is collapsing around them. Oh man, that was a big dog. Um, <laughs> but, oh, you know, you can, you can do that in a society. But what you, what you can't do is argue that like, oh, it's just better if someone else has less. Because that's not true. The, the fundamental being we've always had as humans, to a, to a worrying extent in some cases, is we consume. Oh, man, this is such a rough street. Oh, oh. This is, oh. this is so, like, this is the whole thing that makes me wary of scootering. Like, I, maybe it's deliberate. Maybe cars get down. Oh, okay, we're going, apparently. It's a green. Um, this is the thing that makes me cautious. Oh, that was the shortest green of my life. <laughs> um, I get very cautious about um, riding one of these things sometimes. Like, when you understand the layout, you understand the conditions, things are fine. But um, unexpected situations at high speeds, that's when things get worrying. Um, and that's, that's where I'm at right now, honestly. I'm being entirely truthful with you. Oh, but yeah, no, the, the good part of scootering, like, you know what, let's make a video, let's make a scooter video about scooters. Let's, let's do this for once in my life. Let's, let's not talk about allocation of resources or, you know, the idea that we're all being, you know, like, <laughs> that's this funny thing, like, people think that, I see, you know, I've just been in America, the 2020 election has been people making up a version of the other person to fight against. Like, the things that people think that perhaps a certain blue candidate might do are wildly extreme. And the fact that people think a particular red candidate is doing some wild things, pretty extreme too. And I know people always jump me and they're like, oh no, it's okay, it's true. You know, Trump Trump can't touch, cut taxes so much on the red. Uh, okay, this is fine. 
like uh, you know all those all those tax cuts those are things there, there definitely were a thing called the trump tax cuts i mean they're actually not called that um but that's fine um you know that's that's a real thing that happened and uh that's an example of uh you know the government giving money to the millionaires and how they're screwing us all with it but uh oh okay we could, probably should have gone left there that looks like a fun left this doesn't look like a fun board if i'm being honest with you Oh, and there's a car following me. I'm going to go to the left. Oh, you don't go to the left, America. You go to the right. <laughs> oh, I don't like this at all. I'm going to get the turn on this way. Okay. I don't know how uh, road signs here work. Does that mean I can go that way? No, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, I'm going to go to the right here. <laughs> I'm having such a bad time on this scooter. <laughs> and this is like a rental one. This is like presumably built for the condition that it's in. Oh, okay. I'm going to go to the right a little bit here. I don't want to do that stop sign. <sighs> okay, we're good to go. We're good to go. I think I'm good to go. But um, if you actually look at them, it's like, oh yeah, the the taxes went down by I think like 2%. Oh, okay. See, what is it with LA and red lights that last for such a short amount of time? I don't understand it at all. But um, if you look at them, it's like a two to 4% reduction in certain places, but also it's offset by the fact that if you live in a high tax state, you pay more state tax relative to the, basically there's actually a tax raise for most people. And that's like the closest thing you can point to, to four years of a, of a you know, right-wing government. And <laughs> you know, if you go back to every state, like every government has grown. There has been no exception. I can, I can I've, I've looked back as much as I can in America. Um, in the UK, it's been 40 years since we shrank, and people think we shrank by so much, uh, governmental-wise, in terms of how much we're taking from people, how much we're spending. But no, that's not true either. We, oh, look, it's a new, oh, look at this road. I'm not fearing for my life. I'm having a good time, and I'm only going half the speed limit. That is, oh, and also, look, seriously, the road is this much faster than my, my bike, my, my scooter can do, you know, it's meant to do 15, I think, on a smooth road, just a road, it's saying 16 and a half. Oh, there's a stop sign, I think. No, there's not. It's just a pedestrian crossing. No traffic laws broken there, I think you're fine. <laughs> but um, yeah, if, if I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's fascinating that we think that like, oh yeah, one party wants to cut government, one party wants to cut taxes, and the other wants to grow it so bad. Uh, sometimes they grow at different rates, but even then it's not usually a thing. Even, even um, in America, there's, there's a president who ran specifically on no new taxes, which is a really easy policy to follow. Just like, you know, the exist if, if you don't know, every tax you have, existing have basically raises every year. Oh God, I'm so terrified of a speed bump. Why, does this, why is this road changing like this? Do you think it's like a deliberate way to keep you focused and not hang pedestrians? Okay, there's a second lane opening up, person behind me that is lighting up your world. Oh, I'm, I need to get back to forwards. Uh, can pass. And there goes the smooth stretch of road. That was nice while it lasted, wasn't it? Ooh, okay. But, um... Oh. But, uh... Yeah, basically, it's, it's always grown. But has the value proposition of government grown every year? I don't look back. You know, like, you can... Like, in the UK, you can say, like, oh, yeah, we have nationalised healthcare. That's a real good thing. It's like... That's from the, that's 1945, I want to say. Where am I? What have I ended up at? This road just does a 180. I'm so confused. I don't know where I'm at. I just, I'm not meant to be here. Also, there's a taco truck. Oh, yeah. This is not where I am supposed to be. But let's go back, you know. There's a nice road. I didn't even fear for my life more than once. Um, but yeah, there's this, uh, there's this problem we have the things are just growing we don't we don't know fundamentally how to shrink it um and if you don't know how to shrink something you don't know how to get better value because you know like if you can get better value from your existing stuff then like it's think about like uh you have a thousand dollars a month to spend if you can spend fifty dollars less a month on your your phone plan you have fifty dollars a month to spend on something new and exciting you know, you can buy Netflix and Xbox Games Pass and Amazon Prime and another subscription. Or, you know, like, you can just buy $50 of groceries. You know what? That's, that's what, like, five tacos in LA? See, I'm making a joke about how expensive things are here. Um, but, you know, the, if you can cut back on what you have already, then you can do new exciting things. We have this problem. And again, I, I, I don't mind if we're doing new exciting things that are worth it, you know? 
But we have this problem where we take more and more to do exactly the same thing. And that's the crisis, the, like that's the crisis I see in the world. Uh, you know, I say all this stuff and people like, on the internet people are like, oh, I don't get, why would anyone be against, uh, you know, taxes? Like taxes are the price for society. Like, don't you enjoy these roads? First of all, no, I do not enjoy these roads. I would like to have that be on the record. <laughs> but no, these are technically publicly paid for roads, but I do not enjoy them. I despise these public, you know, like, oh yeah, you, you, good luck not using the roads. You know what? Yeah, I, I, th I think <laughs> literally anything else might be better. At least in the case of LA. Okay, wait, let me... Oh, there's no right, right and red here. Look, there's a sign that says that my God-given right as an American uh, citizen is not... Okay, we're just gonna go on the pavement. There's no rules about going right on the pavement. I think you're fine. Um, but yeah, um, there's this... Uh, there's this real struggle we have. Uh, like, I see almost as a crisis of being. Because if you're also, if you're not doing, if you're not doing, uh, you know, more, if you're doing the same amount, but you're taking more to do it, uh, it'd be fine if it's like, oh yeah, but like, we got the money, you know, we're, we're growing, it's fine. But as we're seeing, uh, you know, a West that isn't growing as fast, as we're seeing uh, a world of, you know, like, um, and, and as the money just comes from people, like, we, we pretend taxes are this magic pot of money. Like, oh, don't worry, the government's gonna pay for it. It's like, you know who the government is, right? The government is all of us. Um, like, people who are, people who are convinced by, you know, like, I, I think this is a Thomas Jefferson call or something, but it's like, the moment that a society is doomed is when a society, like, when, is when the politicians realize they can bribe people using their own money. And that's, that's, that's where we're at, right? Like. You get, we, every election, you know, people are offering to, offer, offering, offering to buy us real nice stuff with our own money, right? Like, um, it's really nice of them. I mean, they, they make such nice offers uh, about what, what they'd like to buy us. Uh, but it's like, well, I mean, it's real nice of them. But also, <laughs> it's not them on the hook, really, is it? But ignoring that side of things, it's like, okay, so the money comes from the private thing. And if that money's being squeezed more and more and more, okay, so there's... It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything is okay. Nothing, never has the world been more okay than it is right now. Oh, this does not seem like a scooter-friendly road. Oh yeah, this is, this is good. Um, okay, wait, Marina Del Rey, public parking lot. I feel like I wanna go in here. I don't know why. I just have that feeling, you know? I feel like I've been here before. Maybe I'm crazy, I'm definitely crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I just feel like we're squeezing money and doing worse things with it. And I hate that there's this like label of like, oh yeah, if you're not entirely in favor of everything that's going on in the world right now, you are a monster. Um, but I also think that people take that feeling, you know, that's like your feeling, and they'll use it, you know, to sell you, like any feeling you have, like, oh yeah, if you're, if you're super pro civil liberties, like, like people be in charge of their own decision making or whatever else it is, you know? Um, if you're in favor of these things, like letting, letting human beings decide for themselves, um, which is what I would describe it as, by the way. Oh, I don't want to go back on the road. <laughs> ah, someone, someone ran, like zoom in to try and get for a red. And uh, makes an unpleasant situation for me, let me tell you. Um, I have no idea where I am right now, for the record. I want to say that I recognize this building, but it's dark, so, and I've been in LA for not very long. Oh god, I can see nothing! <laughs> the green lights are blinding me. Um, yeah, I feel like not fitting in entirely into, like, you know, like, I think, I, I go back and forth from whether I think people who fit perfectly into a two-party dichotomy are, like, great, because, like, every, you know, there, there are people who have views that vaguely align with the party, you know, one of the two or three parties in your thing, and then they'll defend the party to the death. And I've always thought, like, that must be nice, right? To believe in all goodness that there is a team of people that roughly half the time, maybe a little under half, maybe a little over half, but it must be nice to believe that roughly half the time there are people in charge that are competent, that are good, and that want to make the world better. I go back and forth from where I think like, wow, that must be great. 
or like, wow, yeah, no, you're an idiot if you think that. Um, Marina City Drive. There is a city to my right called Marina City, and I could drive there if I had a car. But you know why I don't have a car? Because I have a scooter. Yeah, scooters are just cars with more wheels, fewer wheels. More speed though, I mean less speed. More fun, more wind blowing through my face and the ability to be killed by someone not paying attention. Which actually is myself in most cases, let's not. Ooh, there's a, there's a wheels here, one sec. This is too fun to turn down. I wanna, I wanna switch transport. I'm gonna, I'm gonna revolutionize the Toycat scooter video. This is, like, you, renting is really expensive, in any case, compared to buying. Pro tip, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna end this ride. And then it's gonna ask me if I park correctly. I'm gonna say that this fire hydrant is correctly. Oh, actually, fire hydrants seem like they're very much not correctly, right? If there is a definition of not correct, it is definitely fire hydrants. Okay, we'll just take, we'll just crop that out of the shop. Okay, that's fine, there we go, we're good. Okay, we're great. So thank you. $10, by the way. See, $10, like, you do another 40 of those, and you've paid for a scooter. But, um, one of the things, I don't know where this rant's even going, honestly, but I want to, I wanted to say, very nicely, I'm having a good evening. I'm having a good time. But I think, I think, I think the fear, I think this, like, feeling of not fitting in is is one that seems like inherently worse, right? Okay, we're gonna... Can I... Can we scan this? It's so hard. I wanna do it. Come on. Okay. I... <laughs> my flashlight physically will not let me... Come on. Come on, look. Maybe it just isn't running right now or something. Like, do you see this? I, I really am. Maybe if I go from the side... Nope. I don't know what's wrong here, but I guess I'm not renting this. And I've given up my scooter. All for nothing. Oh god, and I can't get this to go back down. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're fine. We're bueno. Let's go for a walk. Let's, this is like a, <laughs> I used to play GTA. Like, you drive a car, and you get out, like, hoping to upgrade your car, but then you lose it, and then you're on foot for a bit. This is exactly that, and it's perfect because I'm in Los Angeles. So there's literally me going for a bit of a GTA ride. Um, oh, look, there is a bird, a bird, a batch of birds right here. Although these are old ones, actually. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't want to ride on these bitches. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about that game. <sighs> I've never known a scooter company to have like two sets of scooters in the same city. <laughs> but they have one type that's objectively worse than the other. And I don't know why I know all this stuff. I really shouldn't be... I shouldn't be this into such a niche, dumb, expensive hobby. But it's just fun to go for a ride and to see things. Um, I know, I like infrastructure. I like, I like the things we do as a total. That's the thing, right? Like, I, uh, I don't like to talk politics, mostly because it's a dumb, you know, like when you, the subject of it, it's like, um, you know, your, your beliefs about how a system spanning millions of people should work uh, are always going to be different, right? And so that's why it's like a mess to talk about it. And people want you to talk about it in this, uh, this, by this, this dichotomy of two. Oh, there's a, there's a bike path over there. That's where I want to be. I reckon I could get over there, actually. Anyway, um. People want you, want you to talk about things in this, like, two-part two dichotomy. If there's anything I've learned about America, it's that people have this, this strong attachment to their one guy over this other guy, because at least he's not the other guy. But I've always had this belief of, like, no, that, like, when you limit the number of ideas a human can have, you know, we, how, many, how many billions of neurons do we have? When you limit the the ideas and the creativity to two <laughs> is it is it such a wonder that we end up with bad which is like i i don't know what the right number of platforms is i think i think you know even when you try to come up with like political ideologies like oh yeah there are people who are communists socialists libertarians centrists 
conservatives, you know, like extra to extra. But even when you try to do that, you end up with dozens of labels because you get people who are both super environmentalist and conservative. I mean, conservatism and green naturally should go together and do in a lot of places. But in most cases, it's, uh, it's, uh, it goes with the, like, you know, green is equatable to, you know, far left or whatever. Um, when we try to have, am I still recording? I'm still recording, that's nice. Um, don't know where we are, <laughs> but I am recording and that's the important bit. I say, as I, I don't really believe that actually. Um, but like, there's a lot of these uh, things that mix in really unpredictable ways. Um, and that shows like how different people can be and how we can value different things. Um, and I think when, you know, like, I think you can get some good value from that. When you can make a bundle of 10 things and you can tell people, hey, we can have five of those things, you know, like, that is, again, it's kind of what I'm saying with the money thing. Like, we fundamentally have an amount of money that the government even physically can collect. We can decide what percentage of that should it collect. Bear in mind that it will cause harshness to the individuals the more you collect. You know, I, uh, I know some people like to be like, oh yeah, well, the, <laughs> you know, people can just take it. But it's like, no, it's not really. So we can, you know, d like people, mo mo a lot of people are stretched to the edge. There are some people who have so much money that they wouldn't miss a five or ten percent chunk of it going missing, but I guarantee you that is nowhere near the, the majority. I'm gonna I'm gonna jaywalk here, I reckon, after this car and before the next over there. Let's do this. This is like when you tap A in the GTA. Yep, you know a nice dark park. That seems like a good good place to spend my evening. Uh, but anyway, uh, okay. But I bet now you literally can see nothing yep nothing that's great um but i think if you say like okay let's have real discussions what this this that what percentage we're taking and then okay what what five you know here here are 10 main areas um what five of them should we focus on if you instead what, what, what ends up happening instead is in a two-party system is the two parties will pick five of their things each and then it'll be like, which five do you want? And it's like, what if I want two from that, these, these guys and three from these guys? What if I want, you know, what if I really don't mind what people do? Um, you know, like I, I really, I, what, for instance, I'm, I really have no, no care about what people do socially. Like let them, let people marry, let people identify, you know, like what, why are these things being held back on? But also what if I think that, money should be spent on important things, not on vanity projects and whatever else. You get me? Like you can't, you can't pick and choose your own five, you know, off a 10. Or in reality, you know, let's say it's like 15 issues and the parties each choose eight. So sometimes there's a little overlap. What if you, what if you want six things? And you, you like you, all I'm trying to say right here is you cannot pick your own little five. You can't pick and choose. And then we can work out, you know, we can work out the like, oh yeah, this party, those three things are the most popular. This party, those two things are the most popular. You know, overall, if you if you poll the whole electorate. And therefore we could do all these things together. We could elect people to make them happen. And I don't know how best you could really even do my idea. I guess you'd have to have 10 parties all running as single issue parties and then have the five most, you know, the 51% of those parties like, the, you know, the most successful work together to try and get their stuff done. But then you could argue whoever's most successful at pushing their idea at the expense of others would win, regardless of what the people want. And then you come back to like accountability. But all I'm trying to say of systems is the more, the more you can represent what people want, the better. And the, the more you push things down to a, um, a, a two system, where the other one is reprehensible, the worse off you do. Because here's the crazy thing. America is a... Okay, wait. Okay, look, we got new scooters over here. It was totally worth the ride. You know, I want to I ride something else though. You know, maybe I want a wheel. Let me, let me load up the wheels app. I, wanna, if, I feel like after all this effort, I might as well get a new vehicle. Let's see if there's one near me. Uh, do, 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 do. 
Oh god, I am in a dead zone. I am so... There's a Ralphs near me. And then there's a white... Oh, actually... No, that is... That is a... That is a long, long walk, I feel like. But I haven't seen a Ralphs yet. Let's... Let's give it a whirl. Let's see if that's any fun. Um... But yeah, when you... The idea of only having two ideas that you can exist with seems... Seems reductive. Seems silly by itself. And then, because... Um, you know, we're just capturing demographics at this point. We're not even capturing ideas. We're capturing demographics that happen to have ideas. And so it means that certain demographics find um, one idea reprehensible. And so really they have one choice. They have one choice or not participating. Let's be, let's be honest, this is not really a choice. Uh, I think spoiling your ballot is a valid choice. I think not participate, participating isn't. But like, yeah, you have non-participation or you have participation to favor one thing. And it's like, is that really... Is that anyone's favorite system? Have we accidentally invented one party systems inside a functioning healthy democracy? And the answer is yeah, we have. Except no, it's not a functioning healthy democracy because we've done that. Um, we have the vast majority of human beings not feeling like they have two, two options to choose from. And I think that sucks. I think that that should be one of the first priorities that we should work on. I think ranked choice voting, great idea, you know? Vote, take, take the 10 biggest things you care about, rank them one through 10. That way it's not just about thing you like, max, thing you like, and every, every, you know, not voting. I don't hate every party I don't vote for equally. <laughs> I don't hate every idea I'm not most in favor of equally. But, and, and that's how we ended up with, that's how we end up all the time. Um, I'm, not, I'm not against uh, things in the same way people are, but. The fact that you can have a country where the majority of people want something. Actually, wait, here's a fun thing about the word majority. Majority can mean both more than 50%, but also can mean the largest single group, you know, plurality is what we'd call it to be more precise. But because majority can mean less than 50%, as long as it's the largest group, the majority of American, at least electorals, it gets more confusing with Trump. The majority of people <laughs> both did vote for Biden or whatever, but also the majority of people didn't vote for him. The majority of people did vote for Trump, but also didn't vote for him. Isn't that wacky to think about? I'm just walking for a parking lot right now. Oh, it's a health clinic. Wait, UCLA Health. University of California, LA. Oh, they have the... It was probably a clinic, actually. Go me, look at... Let's look at the psychic over here. I will find this wheels. That is the last thing I do, by the way. Okay, so the directions it's going to take me now, if I want to get there. Ooh, I go past the marina marketplace. It's a six minute walk. Christ. But yeah, I, uh, I think it also, look, there were clearly rails going here at one point that they've kept. I wonder if that's for like historic reasons or if it was literally just, that's how bad the road <laughs> design is here that they Oh, look, you can even see where the rail used to be, and that's why there's like a slant and everything else. I think that's so cool that you can physically see the parking lot that's now taking up what used to be a tra train line. That's cool in my opinion. Anyway, um, I think, I think something people were missing, because we're getting into a world now. Every, like I've never seen it as strong as I've seen it in 2020 where people are literally, <laughs> I've seen so many people, I, I despise this by the way, I, I hate you, block me if you have this opinion, but it's like, when people say vote for whoever you want, it's like blocked, it's like yeah, my, the only opinion I accept, if you want to be my friend, is voting for, insert my guy here, and let's be honest, it's bad, it's worse with one of the, one of the teams than the other, but it's pretty reprehensible on both teams, right, it's pretty despicable, <laughs> like, the very idea, oh look there's my Ralphs, I don't think it's open. What time is it actually? Ah, it's only 7.27. I bet I can go into Ralph's. Ralph is my favorite Muppet. He drives a digger in the in the Muppets race. Oh, I could have just cut across there. Oh, I hate my life. Um, ooh, fresh fare. I love fresh and I love fair. You know, that's that's my this is my announcement. I'm running for candidate. I'm running for president of the United States of America. 
I only have two policies. I want fresh and I want fair. I want to bring, bring equality to the masses and I want to, want to do it in a fresh way. You know, what if, what if, hear me out here, what if, what if we could, instead of giving people money, we stop taking it away. Like his, you know, like a, I, I'm a big favor of universal basic income, but you can have the exact same policy by just being like, what if we just cut taxes on the vast majority of human beings? Like almost everyone with very few exceptions pays a thousand dollars a month in tax. <laughs> what if we just didn't take that from them? And the interesting thing is, is that actually, you know, I, I'm, that actually doesn't work. Even though like, I, I, I just made it sound really great right there. The psychology of humans means that a lot of really basic sounding things are not actually great ideas. The, the psychology of humans means, so anyway, the psychology of humans means that even though it sounds really great to do um, a certain thing, a lot of people would appreciate once a, you know, like having money be deposited in there more than they notice money not going away. Like, um, I bet I would love to be Netflix or some huge company to test this one, right? I would love to, uh, you know, like take a giant subscription service that makes hundreds of millions a month by pulling $8 a month out of people's accounts. No, don't do it one month. Don't take the $8 one month and just see. Uh, I can't cross the road to get to my wheels. <sighs> it's fine, it's fine. I didn't really want to anyway. I got a, I get, yeah, it's literally across the road. So I push the button and then I wait 20 minutes and then I push another button and I'll be over there with my new form of transport. I'm looking forward to it. How much battery do I have actually? Ooh, not much. Whatever, we're going. Um, like I, I'd love to know how many people would genuinely not notice the money going missing. I feel like it would be hilarious to, to spot. I think, I, I, I think it would be, you know, you'd get if out of the hundreds of, I, I think there's millions of people subscribed to Netflix, right? Worldwide, it's definitely dozens of millions. I think if all those people, um, a few thousand would say something, maybe? At most. You know, like, and even if we assume that only 1% of people who notice call up, you'd still find a world where 99.99% of people wouldn't care about the $8. Versus, if you hypothetically instead did, um, if you somehow instead, okay, wait, I'm, I'm betting I can cross if I just push this button. Nope. <laughs> If you instead, though, were Netflix and you're like, oh yeah, we're gonna refund people eight dollars this month. We're gonna we're gonna give fifteen dollars to everyone in America, even though that includes their customers, right? Actually, let's say Netflix is gonna give eight dollars to everyone in America to show how easy it is to pay your subscription service bills. They're, they're gonna raise awareness for not for not paying your bills by paying people's eight dollar a month Netflix bill or whatever other bill, you know? Jesus Christ. I, I just want to record a video and things get real loud, you know? You feel me? You don't feel me, do you? See what I mean, by the way? Like, American roads don't ever let people across. They're just not meant for people. Like, me me crossing this... Th actually, this is confusing. There's literally a... Oh, there's an L&L over there as well. There's a Starbucks. There's a Rubio's, whatever that is. You know, let's focus, let's focus. Okay. <sighs> Hello, I might be exercise cat. And I think... The human psychology is interesting and we need to, if we want to maximize people's happiness, which is the new goal of people. I think um, one of the interesting shifts we made as humanity, I think this is pointed out by um, the author of Homo Deus pretty well, is that we used to, the, the, the ideal we used to aspire to is the idea of allowing people the right to pursue happiness. The freedom of the, you know, the yeah, the right to pursue, the right to put the, the right to the pursuit of happiness. Whereas more and more people see it not as a responsibility uh, of, of people, government, businesses. Oh, here is my, here's my wheels. I'm excited for this one. It has been a long time coming, huh? Yeah, bike is ready to go. Or is it? I don't think it is actually. Start, oh, I've got to press start ride. Release wheel. 
But uh, we've gone from the pursuit of happiness to the, you know, like happiness should be granted to us from the outside world. And it's a really worrying thing because the outside world doesn't know what will make you happy. The outside world can make a good guess in some cases. Sure. Oh, look, even these pegs. Wait, do you want to show you something? Oh God, look at the battery on this thing. Will it work at all? Uh, no, it will not. Okay, I just unlocked a dead, I just unlocked a dead bike. That was, that was a good use of my time. Wait, is, the, is this on? No, yet. Yeah, that was just, that was just a bad use of my time. <laughs> and also my money, I think, I think it still takes a dollar of my money. I could be wrong. Loading, loading, loading. Huh, you get a different view from here than I'd expect. Okay, it's telling me to park my bike. Thank you for that. I'm glad you are, glad you are enjoying. Thank you for, thank you for reviewing my photo. Let's rate that one star, low battery. That's, that's good. Now, we gotta find another one. So, oh God, don't make me do this. Also, why, there's only you over here. Do you guys want to go to in and out Oh no, please don't be the only one nearby. Wait, 54? Don't be 54. Oh god, it's the one. They, they didn't even take it out of service. Someone else can rent that now. Uh, how far away is it to that? Okay, it's a... Uh... No, this got to be a closer one. Don't do this to me yet. Okay, wait, over there. Eight minutes away. Gus is going on an eight minute walk. Honestly, you should have just rented the scooter, right? <laughs> Sometimes you make a bad decision and you stick to it. This is, uh, this is valuable like for psychology on like uh, making the world better. But also I'd say pretty valuable if you want to understand like, you know, election stuff uh, that's happening right now uh, in America. I'm not going to comment on it. But if you look at people who are perhaps very clinging to, like, you know, people expect like, oh yeah, after four years of orange man in office, that's when people will suddenly be like, oh, I made a mistake and I'm wrong. If you try to tell people you made a mistake and you're wrong, now admit it. <laughs> it's not how you get them to do it. <laughs> people will double down on their mistakes unless they're given opportunities to gracefully overcome them, you know? I, I don't know why this is not more commonly known about. Like, uh, oh look, nice exercise still. Like, it seems like one of the most basic, yet important, oh, there's a, there's a coffee and gelato bar there. Man, <laughs> this is so light. Everything about this, uh, there's a neighborhood beverage store. Oh, I'm going in. Okay, masking up. Just put this uh, over here. Oh, it just hit me. They mean adult beverages. So lame. Oh, I learned recently beverages means non-water drinks. So I guess they're not wrong in calling that beverages. I was excited for like a whole store just for drinks. I know that there are soda stores. I know there's even a soda store in LA. I want a store dedicated to drinks. Sometimes I just want to consume a beverage that I enjoy, you know? And we're kind of limited to like alcoholic, non-alcoholic juice and the most popular versions of those things thrive. I wanna to go to a store that's like that, that amount of alcohol selection, but non-alcoholic. Why can't I choose from 100 different brands of orange juice? Why can't I see 85 smoothies and 60 brands of soda? Nay, not, six, not 60, 600. Why is it that I am so limited by, by the world around me? And uh, I guess there's no good answer to that one. But yeah, you gotta, well, as I was trying to say, I think you gotta really give people the opportunity to, to change their minds themselves. You can't force anyone to change their minds because that's, you know, that's <laughs> the, the, the best politicians, the best thought leaders in any field, the best business leaders, they're people who can convince you, you know, like the reason Tim Apple, whatever his name is, Tim Cook, not Tim Cook, uh, Steve Jobs, the reason he did such a good job of his stuff is because he convinced you he had a product that you already wanted. You don't tell people, here's how you want the thing done. You don't tell people, look, here's what you're doing right now and it sucks. Here's what you want instead. 
Instead, you find out what's wrong with the current stuff. How do we make that better? You don't make, if you make your particular vision um, for what you want in particular, that's just a random, like, classic car store there. But you're gonna run into some issues, right? You're gonna run into some issues. Um, I think it, I think that should be more fundamentally known about. Like, I think we could be much more successful if we're all better at understanding each other. Like, we're always talking about tolerance. We're always talking about how we can make the world better. And we always forget that the most important type of tolerance is thought tolerance. People have different thoughts. People have different feelings, different opinions. Let's, let's accept that and let's work forward to it. Let's, you know, but no, instead, like I said, the, the tribal lines we draw, the there is one good party, and actually you're not, a lot of people don't even like their one good party. A lot of people despise their one party. And that's why they have to vote against someone rather than for someone. But um, when, you, when you draw tribal lines all over everything, um, even if you claim to, even if one of those, even if uh, people will claim that they're super tolerant, they'll start to immediately distrust people who have the opposite views, because how could you? And the answer as to how could you is quite simple. It's like, well, we have, oh look, see there's <laughs> Biden with Biden. <laughs> Why? Why is that a thing? Why are they going to IHOP? I've got a lot of questions here, and I don't think I'm ever gonna get the answer, to be honest with you. It says it's 24 hours. That doesn't look 24 hours to me. They replaced their parking lot with, what? you know, let's focus, let's focus. Um, this journey is about having fun and going for a scooter ride through LA. Um, but yeah, it's um, like I, I, I've had so many people who are like fundamentally, so I can't, oh wait, 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 here's, here's one. I'm going past Chick-fil-A right now. Uh, I drank some of Chick-fil-A's diet lemonade. I, I enjoyed it. And I mentioned that like, oh, I drank a, a gallon of diet lemonade today, is that okay on Twitter? And there was a guy who was like, oh, you hate your gay people, is that? I was like, no, I, I really, you know, I support anyone for, you know, whatever, whatever uh, you know, whoever they are. Uh, said something along those lines. And the guy was like, oh no, you ate Chick-fil-A, you're a bigot, that's a shame, unsubscribed. And it's like, imagine being so close, cl so tribally drawn in your lines that a thing that can push you over the edge is seeing where someone chooses to buy that lemonade. Imagine if that is the thing that push, like you, you're, you're already pretty close to the edge if that's what can push you over it, you know? I used to, I used to have suicidal ideations a lot when I was younger. And I remember, like I almost was joking about it in my head, but I was deadly serious when it'd be like, man, I, you know, I have to do homework for this class or like, oh God, Spanish wants me to learn to have a whole conversation by the end of the week. You know what? I should just kill myself. Then I would, you know, like my life would be like, I don't have to put it like, that is such a mental burden that I want to die. And then I would spend the lesson fantasizing about how I'm gonna kill myself instead of, you know, actually learning Spanish. Um, and let me tell you, first of all, that's not very productive actually. Um, but second of all, let me tell you, that's like, yeah, well, it wasn't actually learning Spanish that made me want to die. It was clearly everything that happened before that point. But, you know, in the moment, it always feels like, you know, this is the, the one thing. This is, this is that thing, right? That's making it happen. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly, oh, I think I must have made it now. I'm on the, I'm on, cin oh, somewhere around here, there is a wheels bike. By the way, they're not even bikes. They're just, they're scooters of a different form factor, I would argue. Actually not, let's have a fun conversation about that in the comments. That's, that's what people do, right? Let's have a reasonable discussion about whether a wheels, actually, I don't, I don't, I don't think I even probably showed it off last time. As soon as I find one around her, we'll have a proper good conversation. Ooh, Wendy's croissant muffins. That place actually looks really good. There's just a dedicated croissant and muffin place. Man, I want to look through the window, but I don't want to seem weird because I've got a camera. Oh, it's a donut store. Oh, that sounds so good. Okay. Um, but uh, the, the, 
Come on, around here somewhere. Where are they all? The map said there were so many that I was like ready for an abundance. And I'm sad. Because I see no abundance. Okay, well there's one like there. Okay, one minute away. I can do that. Jesus. <laughs> see, I actually kind of understand motorbikes motor motor after riding my scooter. But I'm also terrified from them. Jesus, do you hear that? Something dangerous is happening above me. I'm glad I'm nearby it. Yeah, I'm gonna choose not to go back under that if I can. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. The, when, when you're like, I wish, I wish we could like widespread deal with like extremeness, you know? Well, actually, no, I'd say, uh, what is it called? Like extremism? I think extremism in any form. Like, I, uh, I describe myself, one of the things I don't like about myself, like of, of the five big personality traits, I'd say I'm pretty, pretty neurotic in certain ways. Like, which is usually just how we describe people who are like, oh yeah, I, uh, oh, there's a dog or a cat there. Okay, no, I want my, I'm, I want my wheels and I won't take no for an answer. Okay, according to the map, oh, is it like in someone's house? Oh no, they totally put it in their house or on their driveway or something. And I have to go back towards the the scary noise thing anyway. Yeah, it's totally inside their house, which probably shouldn't be able to do. That's fine though, if I just go down this random side street, you better believe I'm gonna find marina caregivers and I'm gonna find a new scooter bike thing. <sighs> Man, look how nice the apartments are around here could do of an apartment like that, eh? Yeah, I've been, uh, one of the things I like about America is apartments here are nice. Apartments here be real good. But no, we actually, we should teach people about like extremism. Like the, most of the real problems in the world, of one for, you know, like people think extremism and they think like, what, like, I don't know, the people who are so extreme that they think that their religion dictates that they should go somewhere and kill a bunch of people and that'll get them into heaven. That's extreme. No, no religion actually teaches that. If you get to the point where any action is justifying killing a bunch of people, you should be like, wait a minute, let's check that one, shall we? <laughs> you know how people say, oh yeah, we shouldn't, we shouldn't encourage people not to wear short shirts, short shirts. We should encourage people not to rape. In the same way, let's encourage people not to kill people. Let's have a, let's have a good conversation. Let's work out why people are doing that. And let's tell people, you know, there's no good reason to kill people. Even if you, even if you uh, get orange juice with bits in instead of orange juice without bits, I know it's inedible. It's basically not a drink. But even in that situation, that that situation where you're mad and you want to burn the world down, you shouldn't burn the world down. You know, wrong orange juice on your order. Not a good enough reason to um, not a good enough reason to kill a bunch of people. You know what else we should say? Oh yeah. You got this fundamental belief that people deserve to die. Why do they deserve to die? Why are they not dying right now? Why do you need to bring death to them? Can't someone else do that? Um, there's this kind of cop-out answer. Oh God, it was, if I swear to God, oh wait, I see it. It's over there. The map's just reporting it wrong. Okay, I'm gonna cross the road here. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm here finally. It's happened. It's taken me a while, but, what do I have? I have direct access to a wheelsies, I think. No, don't do this to me. Actually, the seat on this one doesn't lock in correctly. I'm gonna have to make sure that works first. Huh. Yeah, I don't have to show this one to you correctly, but the seat is just sliding forwards, which seems really non-ideal. I guess there's someone like, ah, there we go. Maybe? Nope, don't understand this at all. Oh, there we go. I did it, I fixed it. Okay. Now we just gotta get the app to scan this. <sighs> oh, can we do it? I would wager we can't. Come on, app. <laughs> no. Hey, if I stand on the other side, 
then focus. Hey, hey. Oh, we are. We are going somewhere now. Let's press the power button. Let's see how much power this thing's got. If this one's dead too, then you know this proves that there is no god, and therefore no one should die, right? But no, like people think of extremism. Oh, 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 oh Christ! That was very close to causing some uh, accidental property damage. Property damage right there. <sighs> so yeah, this is a wheels. Just to show you a little bit, I'll point down. Even though I know you can't see the road, it's uh, it's just a, it's like a scooter. Like, look, it fundamentally is a scooter. You sit on it, and then you throttle, and you ride places. Uh, where do we ride? That's a good question. I want to find a bike lane. I'm willing to travel kind of far. If that's what it takes. Anyway, so now... Oh god, look how many there are over there. I went... Oh my god. Look how many there are. Have I found, like, the center of them? There is, like, 20 maybe. Okay, this is an actually major road here. So I get to this. I'm assuming there's a stop sign. I don't know how this works, I'm being honest with you. I'm just terrified. I guess I go this way first, and then I kind of rotate left. Yeah, that's the safest way to do them, in sections. Pretty sure it's not legal. But it doesn't change it's the way that I do them. I guess if I want to go forwards, I get stuck in traffic here. Okay, I guess I'm going, I'm going right, screw it. Again, when in doubt, the safest thing to do in America is just to turn right anyway. Okay, yep. And now we're going forwards down a very busy street. And then whenever we can, we'll just turn left. We'll do a U-turn. A U-E if you are. Uh, if you want. So yeah, look at this. Actually, you can't see it, but I'm going 17.7, 18.2. Oh, there's a bike lane here. It was a secret. There was a bike lane all along. The real bike lane is the friends we made along the way though. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's the like, that's the thing we should all be against, right? This, the 0.1% of people who think that someone deserves to die for their, their choice in religion, location, or their choice in diet lemonade, you know? People say that you have many choices in lemonade. Or people, you know how airlines say you have many choices in airline? Thanks for choosing us. You know what? Why don't I have many choices in diet lemonade? Maybe if you made diet lemonade that was better and that didn't apparently fund. Um, I, I actually, I've looked into what people say that uh, Chick-fil-A is funding. Oh God, my, my left hand is like spasming for some reason. I'm going to assume it's something to do with the, um, Oh, the brake is so strong on this thing. Look at this, like... Okay, um... Yeah, I don't want to ride if I've got a... I want to strong my arm. Okay, um... Having a stroke is what happens. Man, that's my biggest fear, like... You know if you're driving a car, you can just have a heart attack. That should terrify more of us. More of us should be prepared for that eventuality, I feel like. But we're just not. We just don't think about it. I think this problem of, like, just not thinking about things... Like, it works. It works well enough until it doesn't. Like, when you have a society large enough, all the things that you just don't think about because they're unpleasant, they start to add up real fast. <laughs> okay, let's... Can I cut across the street and turn left? I, I actually could have perfect me there. I'm just terrified. Because I don't know the acceleration curve on this thing perfectly. Look, it, it's like a horse. You rev it and then it, like, lifts you up. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should not be having this much fun. Uh, on a busy street in LA. Actually, I'm, I'm going to go down one of those residential streets because the max is there is 15 anyway. So that's my plan. I'm going to... I'm going to get off this busy street. I'm going to get down that thing. Oh, thank God there is an opening for me. Okay, let's go. I'm looking both ways. I'd like that to be noticed. I'm going down a 15 miles per hour residential street because when you're trying to get used to something, you do not want to be... One heart attack, one stroke, one... Oh, God. One, like, left hand not working away from a from an attack of some form. Oh, maybe it's purposeful that, like, when you're on residential streets, maybe they purposefully do not have good roads, so you can't go too fast without damaging your car. Like, I'm, I'm sure there is some, like, smart science on that, about how good or bad that is or isn't. Oh, this is good, though. Look at me. I can break the speed limit on a road on a non-driving license. Okay, wait, 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 look at this. Look at this stop sign coming up. Do you see how I'm gonna stop? I'm gonna stop. Oh, thank you. 
see in America. There's a, I actually, I would like to mention that that person broke a, like they were really nice, they let me go past, but that person broke a, uh, a rule. In, on stop signs, you have priority if you arrive first. See, I, I, I'm learning about roads by trying not to die. I think everyone should learn at least a little bit about how things work by, um, like I, I think going somewhere with no rules, rather than trusting everyone can follow the rules implicitly, I love learning from a scooter from nothing. I don't know the rules are, and I'm learning by doing instead of by, you know, like by school. And there's some situations, probably like in this video where I make mistakes, but I feel so much safer when I know how people actually are, as opposed to how people should be. And that's, that's what I'm saying with like, that's where I'm going with this exact, okay, wait, there's a stop sign. Can I cut forwards? Oh God, I'm cutting forwards. Oh no, you can't, it's one way. <laughs> Thank God I realized before it was too late. Okay, so I want to turn left here, I guess. You know, I got a bike lane, I'm, I'm fine. I like this by the way, bike lanes going all the way up to intersections. This is how the world should be. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I feel good. Da -da -na 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 -na. I know that I should, probably. So yeah, again, it's kind of terrifying that all I have to do is like rev this the wrong way and then I'll start flying even an intersection. It's also terrifying to know how little acceleration this thing has. Look at this. I'm like, I'm getting outclassed by everything around me. But that's fine. Oh, everything is fine. This is what I was specifically avoiding. But besides the fact that I was specifically avoiding it, I'm doing great right now. Okay. Not getting hit by that car, not getting hit by this car. Everyone's a winner right now. Yeah, this is just an endless street. This is this is American roads for you. You just go forwards. And it seems like it's an efficient way to get to your destination. Until you realize that no one's paying any attention. Right now, my brain wants to turn off. Because what am I doing? I'm holding my thing in max. I'm going 19 miles an hour, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm going 19 miles an hour, holding my thing on max, and just kind of winging it. Okay, if I turn right, no, I've got to turn left. So I, oh, okay, there's a left-hand lane over there on the left of the road. Okay, is this for bikes? It's so small that it has to be, right? There's no way humans are meant to fit in this. And now there's a, there's a dedicated left turn light, and there's no left on red rule. So even if a car comes behind me because this is their lane, which I'll admit I am scared of, I can just go. Okay, we're good. But yeah, learning how people actually are rather than how they should be is a really important skill. Like again, like this is why I like psychology. This is almost why I like, you know, political theory, sepsology, you know, like people say people got the polls wrong. It's not people got the polls wrong, it's that we're, it's society is so fundamentally turmoiled that we're, we're assuming that people would say what they do, which is usually tr true, but we've gone to the point now where there are certain things that you will do that you're, you know, you feel fine doing, but you won't openly acknowledge. Think about lockdown. Everyone breaks lockdown in some specific way. By the way, I'm in, the, I'm in America, there's no lockdown. I'm not breaking anything right now. I don't think at least. I'm probably not breaking any rules. I've got a mask on. I went into Beverage Wild with a mask. What more can they ask from me? But, um, oh God, turning left is a nightmare, huh? Um, but uh, I, I'm not breaking any lockdown rules, but everyone thinks lockdowns are so important. Just not for them, you know? Like, lockdowns for other people. Yes, yes, yes. Lockdown for, why is this light not changing? Do I have to do something? Will it only change if there's cars in the lane? Is it not built for bikes? How long do I have to wait for a red? Like these lights have cycled quite a few times now. Maybe after these side traffics go, they'll let me go. Yeah, okay, the, the two left and right lanes are going. Should I just go with it? No, I will wait till it's green actually. That is my, okay, there's a, there's a, there's a motorcyclist in the other lane over there. Please let me go, please. I deserve it. See that. Either his left lane turned for him. Okay, honestly, you know, one traffic law for the rest of the video. I, d I deserve it, right? I deserve this. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, the light still has not changed, by the way. I'm looking behind me. Still not green. I think it must require a car. Or that other guy broke the law. I'm not sure which it is, but either way, I feel like I'm in the right. Um, anyway, speaking of being in the right or in the left, am I right? Oh, no, I'd be left, wouldn't I? Um, speaking of being in the, in the right, I think, uh, I think the psychology of how humans are versus how we think we are is the most fascinating thing. Um, maybe like, maybe this is cause like, again, if I'm, 
what's the word, uh, neurotic. You know, some, something about my brain produces different results on average than you might expect. Um, I think everyone has that, just to lesser extents. Like, you know, if, when you see the amount of self-diagnostics on the internet, the amount of people who are like self-diagnosed that I have X, Y, Z condition, it's so high that the only logical conclusion can be that we're all slightly different. And the answer should be, how do we work that out? How do we make the world the best for, for, given that that is the case, how do we make the best world for that? See, this is what I like. We're going down empty streets. There's a stop sign that I do stop for. Wait, okay, you're not. Before I leave, do you want to do one last naughty stop sign evasion? Do you want to do it? Chat. I know you're not there, chat. But do you want to do it anyway, chat? I know you do chat. Chat, why, why don't you love me? Why is it always a one-sided relationship, chat? Why is this always me speaking to you? But yeah, like, you know, this fundament, the fact that I am talking to myself, recording a video, it's been an hour. Uh, this video will make, what's it gonna get, like a thousand views? It's gonna make me two dollars if I'm lucky. The fact that I did this whole hour for two dollars makes me insane. I just spoke to myself for two hours, or an hour, for two dollars. Uh, in LA, the minimum wage is like twelve dollars or something. Oh, this is a nice street. I like this one. It's wide. If I hit someone, I'll die, not them. Oh yeah, this is great. So yeah, I just want to finish up by saying thank you for watching. Um, don't be convinced that something's wrong with your brain. Uh, because your brain is never wrong. I think it's your behavior that can be not conducive to helping other people. Oh, the top signs are for the other direction. It's not for me. I go forwards as much as I like. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting in some way. And I'm going to re release another one. Actually, I'll release another one before I release this one. This was just my test, because it's nighttime. I'm going to release one in the day. This one is going to come before, like, I recorded this one before whatever else goes up on the channel because it's dark and I bet it looks like garbage. Also, it's 720p to save in file size. So yeah, thank you for watching. Oh, <laughs> that's scary. Oh, he's running a stop sign. He just ran a stop sign. Oh no, wait, there is no. Oh, it was only a stop sign for me. I ran a, I ran a stop sign technically. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, I'm waving the other way for you. See, I feel like I'm going no speed at all, but I'm going 10 miles an hour. That's how, used to, that's how much I'm used to 22 or whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.